Hello YouTube, this is a YouTube user Shanky91 and I have an even more recent update uh, for the Parallels desktop uh, for uh, iOS and specific today we're looking at the iPad. Uh, a couple of hours ago I put up a video that uh, I was showing you how uh, basically how you could effectively install uh, Parallels on your iPad and as a result you'd be able to have virtual machines running off the iPad. The same actually goes for the iPhone. There is an iPhone edition available. I will have to show that to you in another video given that I'm recording with uh, my iPhone right now. Uh, so as you can see over here, on my computer I have Windows 7 which is suspended within Parallels Desktop. This is version 6. I'm gonna go down here to my iPad. I'm just gonna unlock it and as you see on the screen over here it says Windows 7 the virtual machine is paused to resume it tap the play button or just tap the button so when I tap the button as you can see the desktop over here is now showing the Windows 7 desktop and the desktop on my computer is showing the Windows 7 desktop and actually all touch is working uh, I was right after you installed the uh, parallel desktop tools it uh, adjusted all of the um, it adjusted all of the um, the touch calibration issues actually quite efficiently the touch is extremely responsive once you uh, once you get it all calibrated as you can see I could open up windows I could zoom in and out with pinch gestures and I think uh, what my biggest concern was before I installed this was am I going to be able to have Bluetooth keyboard support. Uh, before I talk about the keyboard though I should mention though that the lag is there's like close to no lag whatsoever. It's very fluid. I was able to watch YouTube video on here and there was no lag in the picture whatsoever. Uh, now to just get back to the keyboard actually um, I was worried the keyboard would not work because some applications written for iOS do not support uh, Bluetooth keyboard regardless of it being uh, an integration to the core operating system. Uh, so actually all you have to do to get the keyboard to work is uh, you just set it up like you usually would in iOS uh, in settings under Bluetooth and then all you have to do is take two fingers on the screen and tap and you'll see that this little bar slides in and out and what you could do is I'll just try to find an example over here if I go into the search bar of the window wait for the focus over here I'm typing here on my keyboard and it's registering over here on the iPad now alternatively if I wanted to use a full touch keyboard, I just press the eject button on my Bluetooth keyboard and a large keyboard pops up. You have multiple function keys. Uh, you're actually able to do key combinations also, like you'd be able to touch control, then alt, and then uh, delete. Uh, oops, that's not delete. Control, alt, and then uh, delete, which is actually now going to bring up uh, task manager as it has and uh, and basically this is a very responsive version of Parallels Desktop right on the iPad uh, again extremely fluid little uh, little to no lag I'd be going I'd be ready to go as far as saying that and it's definitely a nice alternative to have another operating system on uh, on the iPad now uh, I've looked on YouTube since I put on my last video. I haven't seen any other videos except for the Parallels video itself uh, showing off this uh, incredible piece of software. If you'd like to see me try out some features uh, on my version of the software, just leave me a comment in the comment section below. Um, otherwise, I'm sure I'll, I'll come up with some stuff to put up myself. Uh, I should mention, though, that uh, the only thing that I was told uh, did not work was um, 
was Arrow 3D. That was in some piece of documentation that actually came built into the application. Uh, Arrow uh, will not work, and actually the uh, the Windows theme was changed to Windows uh, Windows Basic uh, when I was running it in this screen format. However, uh, if anything, I find that just uh, it's a it's a lot more friendly on the iPad. Uh, a neat feature over here, which I'd like to show, is that if you tap with three fingers on the screen you can bring up this toolbar right at the top of the screen over here where you have some options. Here in this menu over here you can choose to suspend, pause, or shut down the virtual machine. This is a soft button over here for the keyboard. As you can see I just press that, the keyboard flies in. This button over here is actually very neat. It allows you to choose your image quality whether you want a higher quality or higher speed when you set the uh, slider down into higher speed and you hit the done button it actually puts the screen into grayscale and actually runs even faster uh, uh, because it doesn't have to render all those colors I'm just going to set that back to higher quality even with the higher quality though I haven't had much problem. This icon over here is used to select text as to uh, uh, you know to select multiple objects because with this unselected you could actually pan around the desktop uh, but again when you select this little icon over here instead of having to double click and drag you just drag. Uh, we're going to take that off and the last icon over here is the information icon which again gives you those finger tips that you got right at the beginning and actually gives you access to that documentation that I made reference to a little bit earlier. So uh, yeah, so this is uh, Parallels Desktop for